Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me or deciding to click on my video, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do not believe in coincidences. I know that if God let you here, it should be for a good reason. And I pray you stick around long enough to get that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, God laid this word in my heart. It came with a burden and I knew I had to share because some one has to hear this you know we are in the last days and we are in the internet age where everybody has access to internet everybody has access to information and you can voice out your opinion on what you think about whoever and go away with it but this one thing you shouldn't do that God laid in my heart and I thought to share do not judge men and women of God Try as much as you can not to judge them. Try as much, much as you can not to be their judge. Let God be the judge of them. You know, because we are, we are all exposed to information. And like I said, the Bible is a book that is full of two things. Number one, the Logos. Number two, the Rema. The Logos is the letters that are written on it. The letters. These are the, the Logos. The letters that are written on it and the rema is the word for you the revelation that god gives you at that time when you are studying your bible and god gives people different revelations so based on what god gave you because god has told you something about a, a particular topic doesn't mean that is the new universal thing about it he might have said contrary to another person and you going all out to judge them you might just be attracting a curse upon yourself please do not be in a haste to conclude or stone me just watch till the end you might just be attracting a curse to yourself. Follow God. Study the Bible for yourself. Get the rema for you. And whosoever is doing whatever, let it be their concern. Let it be their, their problem. If they are misleading people, it's going to be their problem. I don't think you, God is calling you to correct the church. You cannot correct, correct the, the entire church. Get the truth for you and leave. Remember what happened in the Bible. Moses told the people that God said, do not get married to foreigners like i would say and moses went ahead and got married to an ethiopian miriam and aaron they decided they started talking against moses about it did what moses did was it right no it wasn't because he went contrary to what god told him or what god told the israelites and god got so furious came down and struck them miriam became leprous and, Mo, and, and Aaron, what preserved him was that he was carrying the garment of a prophet. And after that, God told him to go and remove that garment and he struck him dead. Because they spoke against a servant of God. You might want to say that you are still alive. Nothing has gone wrong with you. But death doesn't, mean, doesn't only mean physical death. You can die in so many parts of your life. So many things in your life can just be stagnant and you're asking yourself what is happening. Because you maybe spoke against a servant of God who was, I don't know why they were acting. It, it, just imagine, in the Bible, God tells Hosea to go and get married to a prostitute. Imagine if it were in these days, we are going to say all kinds of things about the prophet. He does what he doesn't, he preaches what he doesn't do and all of that, but he was acting based on an instruction God gave him. And you sitting on the other side, you'll be saying all sorts of things, judging them and telling them the universal doctrine about why they cannot get married to a prostitute and all of that. But God gave him that, that, that assignment. You might want to say that everything is fine with you. You have been criticizing men and women of God and everything is fine with you. Not necessarily. Miriam became leprous. What is leprosy? It makes you incapacitated. Maybe some aspects of your life are just experiencing some things you cannot even explain because of what you said about some men of God or women of God and you do not know it. Please do not be in a haste to debunk this information. Let it ask God about these things I am saying. Take it to God in prayer and ask him if you doubt where it is coming from. God laid it in my heart and it came with a lot of burden. People are attracting so many curses to themselves by judging men and women of God and trying to say that they are doing the right things or the wrong things. What am I saying in essence? Study the word of God.
Follow God and not men. Study the word of God. Study your Bible and God is going to keep giving you the rema for living. The rema you need to put to, to base your life on. And you're going to be surprised that God might give equally give some instructions that is controversial god might tell you to do something that is controversial and right now because you have been a critic it's going to be difficult for you to carry out that instruction because you're going to be criticized but if god sent you to do it why would you be scared if god asks you to do that thing you do not have to beware of critics or whoever is going to say what what is important is that you accomplish that task that assignment hallelujah this word is coming to you if you have been in that place before just repent. Tell God, I repent from this. I'm sorry. I judged. Please have mercy upon me. Maybe an aspect of your life have, have been tied and tight and it is connected to your, your talking against these people. Just repent and ask the Lord for mercy. And he's going to show you mercy. Our God is merciful. Hallelujah. And if you are not yet there, then this message is coming to you in time. Please keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Do not try to attack. Do not build a ministry out of attacking men and women of God. Do not do that or try to correct them from what they are doing. Let God who sent them talk to them. They do listen. They do listen. Or if you must say anything, say it with love. If you can get to them personally, send them a personal email and just share your opinion with love and not castigating, you know, you know, when you, when you're throwing stones at people, you know, that feeling, do not do that. Say your own opinion about what, what you think about what they are doing and let it be. Maybe if what they are doing is utterly wrong and not from God, that word coming from an angle of love, it might minister to them. But when you go to them, like it's an attack, they already build a defensive wall. They cannot listen to you. You have not helped them become better. You can correct them with love. Or as well just pray for them and just let them be hallelujah i pray this will help you to understand how god works especially when it comes to his servants i pray that it helps you god bless you have an amazing day shalom